Unit 1C1 is going to get pretty geeky, so hang with me here. We're going to be doing some math. We're going to be talking about data. It's time to get technical. And we're going to talk about the technical properties of digital video. Before I do that, let's just review a few things. You already know this stuff, but uh, it, it's the foundation for the stills, skills I'm going to teach next. Video, of course, is really just still pictures that are flashed quickly on a computer screen. Nothing is actually moving. Each still picture is called a frame. A frame is one still picture of video. Video is measured in its size, in its width, by its height. And it can be small, you're watching it on your little iPod screen, or it can be large, you're watching it on your HDTV at home. For example, when we call video 1080p, what we mean is that is 1920 pixels wide, that's its width, by 1080 pixels high, that's its height and that is uh, um, the width and height. Then we also talk about the video in terms of its frames per second. How many frames, still pictures, flash every second? In this class, I often use 30, but there are different ways for uh, frame rates to run. Different parts of the world use different frame rates, um, and so frame rate is part of the equation that we're going to learn. Okay, in order to get to that equation, we need to define a few new terms. A pixel is a single dot of color. If you zoom in close enough on any video monitor, you'll see little pixels, little square dots, each one of which is a single color. The computer stores those pixels as bits, and bits are data points within the computer. How many bits does the computer need to store a particular data? Well, that also depends, but the more bits that a computer uses to store the color data for a particular pixel, the more nuanced or the more detailed those colors can be. So a, um, how many bits do you need to get a really good color? Well, that comes down to its color depth. So we take the color data of a pixel and we talk about the depth of that color in terms of its color depth. And what we mean that is the number of bits that the computer needs to record a single pixel. And a color depth of 24 gives us something called true color. So if you want really natural color that seems to be full and rich to a normal human eye, then you need to be working at 24 bits at least. 24 bits uh, means there's 24 pieces of data, 24 bits of data that the computer keeps track of to record the color of each pixel. And we can see that this is going to get big fast. So we need a way to measure how much data is required for any given piece of video. Because on the little iPod screen, it's going to be one thing versus the um, uh, movie theater's giant projection system is going to be a totally different amount of data. How much data are we talking about? Well, we need a way to measure that. So that measurement is going to be called the bit rate. The bit rate is the amount of data necessary for a given piece of video. And there's a formula for this, and so let's go over that formula. The formula starts with the width of the, um, of the, of the screen, and we multiply that times the height. So the width times the height in pixels, and we multiply that times the CD, which you remember stood for the color depth. That was how many bits do we need for each pixel. So the number of pixels in the width multiplied by the number of pixels in the height, multiplied by the number of bits of data we need for each of those pixels, multiplied again times the frame rate, the number of frames that exist per second of that video. When we uh, uh, multiply all those numbers times each other, we get the bit rate per second. So for a given piece of video, we know the bit rate, how much many bits we're going to need to do one second of that video. And let's plug in some numbers and see what that formula looks like. If we're working with um, HD 1920 1080p um, video, then the width is 1920 pixels, the height is 1080 pixels, multiply that times the color depth, we want 24 because we want true color for this particular video. Multiplying that times the frame rate, that's 30 frames per second. As you can imagine, this is going to be a big number, and that comes out to 1,492,992,000 bits of data for every second of video that the computer needs to keep track of. I'm glad we have computers that keep track of this for us because my head can't calculate that kind of data. But let's do a few calculations just so we can see what a video professional might need to know. So let's take that number right there on the top. So there's that 1.4 billion bits of data per second for our high definition video. And we are gonna break that down to megabits. Um, that's a lot easier to talk about than these big numbers. So a megabit is a million bits. And that means that one 
billion, 492 million, et cetera, et cetera, bits per second is equal to 1,493 megabits. I did a little bit of rounding here. There's the 1,490, and I took that 2,992,000, and I said, that's pretty close to 3 million. So as far as megabits, we're looking at 1,493 megabits per second for this video. Now, it's confusing, but bits are individual pieces of data that a computer stores, but bytes are something different. There are eight uh, bits in one byte. So you don't have to worry about that part of the formula. I'm not gonna test you on that. But if you're wanting to really geek out on this, um, a byte is eight bits, and therefore we are talking about 186.5 megabytes per second. There's megabits is abbreviated capital M lowercase b, so that's 1493 megabits per second, and that's equal to 186.5 megabytes per second. And that's how much storage space we're gonna need also uh, on our hard drive for one second of that HD video, we need 186.5 megabytes per second, or at least that is if it's uncompressed. As you can now tell, video takes tons of storage space, and so what a lot of um, computers do is compress that video. We're gonna get into that in the next lesson, but understand that most of the time, you're gonna be working with compressed video, why would we compress video? Well, imagine in all those 1920 by 12 by 1080 pixels of data, some of those pixels are gonna be the same color. Maybe there's some white behind me. Does the computer really need to know that this pixel of white and this pixel of white and this pixel of white and this pixel of white? That's a lot of bits of data to keep track of. Why not just tell the computer, well, everything from here to here is white, fill it in. And with one formula, you see that we could compress video and still get high quality, but use a lot less bits to do it. So compressed video Video. There's lots of different ways to compress video, and different companies have got different codecs for doing that. We'll get into that in a future lesson, but all you really need to know is most of the time it's compressed, and that formula that you just learned gets even more complicated once you start talking about compression. For the video 1B class, though, this is all I'm going to make you guys uh, pay attention to, and you will have to crunch these numbers, and I'm going to let you practice that on the very next page in this lesson.